So there was a post made, um, and it says, if you are a Christian and can't hear Black Lives Matter without feeling the need to respond with criticism that all lives matter, then crack open your Bible and hit up Luke 15. Don't have it handy? Let me summarize it for you. There are a hundred sheep, but one goes missing. Jesus leaves the 99 and goes after the one. The 99 says, but what about us? Don't we matter? And Jesus said, of course you still matter, but you're not the one in danger. That one is. So if, if, if you don't get that, you don't want to get that. Nope. Hola, welcome back to T. And Lee. TV. What you say now? What you do now? T and Lee, and we back with the crew now. Crap shrimp, and you know we review now. Cooking up all this real nice food now. What you said now? What you need now? Look on green screen HD now. Go ahead and subscribe, join the family. T and Lee is the place to be. Child, so welcome back to the channel as you guys can see from the thumbnail in the video yeah. we're doing some burger sliders yes but before we get started to the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to Tilly tv because it's the place to be y'all it's always the place to be y'all mm -hmm. so i'm gonna check the description box down below for our personal channels uh-huh laughable moments my miss cutie and make sure you don't forget to check out it's so naya yes those links will be down in the description box below so today guys i'm drinking some dr pepper yes and then i have of course my one pepsi a day uh, for my condiments, I have some mustard, ketchup, and I have some of the Freddy's fry sauce. It's not much room up here, so um, I didn't bring it up here. So tell them what kind of sliders we're doing today and what a journey it was to make these. <clears throat> yes, we made them. Yes. Well, actually, T made them. I sat back and watched. <laughs> I made the fries. But um, we have some steak sliders and some prime sliders, right? Yeah, so one is an Angus steak, okay. uh, beef sliders or whatever, and then the other one is the prime rib. Okay, okay. Yeah, sliders. So that's our first time trying it, so we want to see the difference in how they taste. Yes. On the sliders, he has some lettuce and tomato, and then on some of his, on one of his, he has some egg. Yep. I have egg on two of mine, and then I have some grilled onions, as well as the extra crispy french fries. Awesome, and on all, all of mine, I have bacon. Oh, yeah, he do. I don't even see it. Yes. So he loaded his slider up. So yes, let's go ahead and bless the food because it's been long enough. Lord, I'd like to thank you for this food. That no harm should be, <clears throat> that no harm should come through this food. That this food should be nutritionist to our body. And our Lord of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. So let's see. All right. How y'all doing today? What y'all getting into today? So I'm going to get some ketchup back here. And I'm on some fry sauce too. Oh, yeah. Oh. And I also have, uh, T picked these up for me. They are some, uh. Velastic some, Tabasco, uh, kosher pickles. Yes. Or dill pickles. What dill are pickles. Kosher dill. Kosher dill. dill. Pickle spears. So I never, <laughs> I never had this before. So I'm going to try it today. Hopefully they good. I seen them and they look hot. Well, I saw them and I know he mm. liked dill pickles, but then I seen Tabasco mm. and I know he liked spicy, so it was kind of like a good combination in my eyes. I just opened this earlier. <laughs> you don't want to open? Uh-huh. Okay. So, I'm reaching for the mustard, mm. y'all. Oh. like it. Let's we need a little it. trays that we could put to the side to put, like, the condiments on or something. Yeah. Because yeah, this is just out. team too much. All right, put that in there. Get one of them up. Yes. So, I want to put some mustard on my burgers, too. Yeah, I don't like a lot of mustard. I do like the taste of it, but like very small amounts. So I'm gonna put a little bit on there. On each burger. See, like two drops. Maybe three if it's an accident. <laughs> you got a little kick to it. It do? Yeah. Okay. I, don't, I can't see what I'm doing, y'all, so. Hopefully it look right. Did I put some on him? Oh, I put it under. I'm like, where's the ketchup? The mustard? Yeah, I had put it under there. I didn't realize I did that. Oh. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna get it together. All right, so I like mine just to be just regular. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I don't know which one this is. Oh my God. I should have had little picks or something so we know which one which. Oh yeah, well they look different. So the prime I noticed looks different than the, um. The regular English. Let me see. 
That's your problem, I think. That's your problem? I think. Y'all, we done covered it with everything. So I'm gonna try this one in the back. This has the eggs on it. I should've put a little bit of egg on this one too. Y'all, these are some sliders for you. These are some big old sliders yeah, these are out big there. Sliders. Mm -hmm. these, these some thick ones. So this one these is, I can tell, this is the regular one. So this is just the regular uh, Angus. Tastes like a burger. Mm, don't taste. So. That might be just. A... Mm. Y'all, you taking them huge bites. Mm -hmm. And this one. Let's see. Y'all, I think it's a regular one too. <clears throat> I believe this is a prime one. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I had them in order, but when I start putting stuff on it, it covered up. Just as the prime. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Mm. When you take them out of the pack, of course, I bought them from Walmart. There were like four whole burgers like this, and I split down the middle and made them into sliders. But when you take them out of the pack, or even when you send them in the pack, one looks more red, one looks, looks more dull. So the prime rib looks more a dull color. It's not as red. And even when you break it apart, it's thicker. The meat is thicker, and it doesn't render down as much fat as the other burger. So, mm. y'all went to Walmart to get. Some, something to drink and the little salmon balls. Mm. Some salmon for the challenge we're gonna do. Yeah, because you say salmon balls. Mm -hmm. I might I know. Go look for salmon Got balls. some pink salmon. And I saw these and I was like, this would be good for uh, some burgers. So these are the Martin's potato rolls. I didn't know they had the little mini size slider rolls. I never knew that. Or oh, I don't remember seeing it. And so I saw them and I was like, oh, I can take some of those burgers because I bought both. Both came with four. I mean, came with, yeah, four a piece. So it's a total of eight burgers. So um, I said that'd be good to make some starters with. And then the other ones we can make regular hamburgers or whatever. So we still got four burgers left waiting yeah. to be cooked. Mm -hmm. I should have took a little bit of footage. Y'all, this house was smoky. I cooked them on the little flat top grill that goes on top of the stove. Lee told me that um, <clears throat> Auntie had one, and I tried it on there. And they cook good, but you better be prepared to open the window if you could come on one of those things. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is dusty. The primary. Hmm. The meat is good. I don't know if I got a different one or not. <laughs> When you get the prime, you'll be able to tell. It tastes different. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Y'all, mm, it's good. That, I mean, don't get me wrong, the Angus is good as well, but that prime does have a pronounced flavor. I like it. Well, I still got two burgers, though. <laughs> you ain't get to it yet? I don't know. Y'all, I need to move something. I can't tell you. You can't tell yet? Okay, let's see. Uh, they look the same. <laughs> They, the they hitting off the burger. Remember I showed you? Oh, well. Uh, off mean, the patty, they look totally different now that you done dressed it up. They look the same. They look the same. So I got two of them right here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm, that one tastes the same as the first two. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Well, to me, when you put so much stuff on a burger, it masks the flavor. So you got the bacon, the lettuce, the tomato, the egg, the cheese. It just, so it probably kind of masks the flavor. Um, they both got like a little red streak in them. I'm mm -hmm. assuming that's Saison. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
both good to me. Mmm, no, nah, these fries are good. Publix yeah. extra crispy American? pickle fry. Mm? Like, yeah, some of them are really crispy, some are not. Some of them are hard. I can't do it. You like it? Uh, I tried eating a couple of them. Lee don't like the way he cooked the fry. I don't like the way. The stove did. Mm-hmm. Mmm. How many of y'all like ciders? I'm thinking I'm gonna go get food. You didn't think you was? I didn't think I was. Oh, I knew you was. I thought it was gonna be, you know, little sliders. Because it's actually, technically, those are two whole burgers. <laughs> two whole burgers and with four pieces of bread and french fries, so. And two pickles. Mm-hmm. Because I ain't never pickles. And these big ones, so. Big ones? Big cider. And we added all this stuff on there. Mm. That pickle was a little spicy, though. A little more spicy than that one. Kind of remember the pickles I do with the little spice sauce? Mm -hmm. Put in the refrigerator for? Oh, yeah. It kind of mine like that, but it's like a milder version. He makes his own spicy pickles. Mm hmm. But since that's already done and it has Tabasco, which is supposed to be hot. Mm hmm. Back when it's no type mm -hmm. of hot. Well, you said you felt a little kick. I did. I think they put a little, I think they need to try to slide some, uh, <laughs> some cayenne in there. Mm. Well, in the Tabasco, it got cayenne in it, you know what I'm saying? But you know, growing up, I would never eat Tabasco. Why? Because everybody always used to say how hot it was. Oh. Like, oh, yo, don't touch that. That's so hot. That's so spicy. Yeah. And they used to scare me with that. I don't remember if it was my dad that did it or whoever, but I never wanted to try it because I thought it was so spicy. Not even to give it a chance. Yeah, but it's not even really. I don't know why people people do make it seem like it's that hot, but it's not. I think Crystal's hotter than that. I wouldn't know. I still never to this day have took Tabasco and put it on food. Mm. I remember I was in a restaurant one day, mm -hmm. and you know how you be told no all your life? Mm -hmm. So, I've seen some. You know, in restaurants, when they say hot sauce, they usually have Tabasco. No, you want to be rebellious. <laughs> so, one day, it was when I was older, I just took it and I put a dot on my finger and I was so scared like it's gonna be so hot <laughs> and I tasted it all taste was vinegar vinegar all taste was a vinegar taste and it wasn't like a taste like mmm it was just like ugh it wasn't even a good taste and no. I was like this ain't spicy no I don't know so that's how I discovered what it kind of tastes like and if this one said it's not spicy it must not be cause you go two drops over the normal amount of hot sauce for hot it's hot whatever Mm-hmm. Well, one day, but we got to buy some Tabasco and put on chicken. I want to taste it. Oh, uh, it's decent, but if you want something hot, like, who watching me? Everybody. <laughs> Y'all, the prime, I really like the prime rib one. Y'all yeah, sell them in Walmart. Crackling. Mm. But you like crackling. Not fried crackling. Baby, crackling so far. Pork skin, not mm. fried. Not potato crackling. Yeah, there you go. You said it. Yum. Even when we went into Publix, because we had to go back and Publix and get some other stuff. So some more videos that we have coming for you guys. Coming for you soon. Uh, they have them in there too. Didn't they have prime ribs? Prime ribs? Yeah, I know they had the Angus ones. I think, I think, yeah, I think, I think they were still make, pre-make them. In the prime rib burgers? I think so. Well, Cause I don't see them in Publix. I don't see them in Dixie. I don't see them in Walmart. <laughs> oh, that's what I got. I didn't see them in Walmart. Duh. Yeah, I said I seen them in Walmart. To say that. I said not Walmart. Yeah, I think I think I didn't see them just about everywhere. Nah, the Walmart. same quality. Nah, that would be a debate. Mm. If these just came from Kroger, Walmart, Kroger, it's pretty good. I seen them at Kroger's. I think. Yeah, we knew the Kroger's, so we don't know. I see. Oh, I, don't know. I seen like most the things I see is pre-done burgers already. Pre-marinated kebabs already. But it's your prime rib. Prime rib, baby. That's you know what it's I'm prime. asking. It's everybody, prime. everybody has pre-made burgers. What I'm asking is, does everyone have prime rib pre-made burgers? If not, don't fret. If Steak and Shake <laughs> got it, they got it. Ain't nothing prime about Steak and Shake burgers. They got not, not a nothing. It is. They got a prime steak burger. Mm. It's the most expensive burger on the menu. Mm. I have to see them cut that myself. Hey, 
You gotta see them cut this one too. But if you go to Walmart, I think this was seven. This is like six ninety something or seven ninety. It's not that much, and you get four big burgers. Mm. Pretty good deal. Okay, there's a the difference. Mm-hmm. My very first burger and this burger are the same. So, I don't know what burger this is, though. I don't know. How would I know which one that is? It's probably the prime. The prime are bigger. Okay. I like the one that was the, the, the last two I just ate. So, you don't like the prime? I like the first one. and You don't like one. it? Or you like the You said that well, I like one. I like Steak and Shake Prime Burger. Okay, guys. So, we're back. Yes. <laughs> But he was saying that he liked the steak and shake prime burger, but yeah, that ain't real to me. Well, I'm gonna I don't know. I don't like steak and shake. Well, yeah. that meat don't taste like real meat. Taste something else. Yeah. But the burger, Angus is good too. Yeah, Angus is good. Mm -hmm. I like Angus burgers. Yeah, those are good. I used to like the McDonald's Angus Burger until they became on the naughty list. What Angus Burger they had? The Angus Burger. When they had it on the, um, might gotta Google it, but it's Angus Burger, it was a signature burger. Mm. Oh, like the one they had on special burgers? Yeah, them signature burgers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was decent. I probably the only one, mm, I don't know, but they couldn't be so different. It don't hold the same kind of weight. I like them, 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 uh, them greasy the, burgers. They cook on the flat top, right? Huh, say it again? They cook on the flat top, right? Um, yeah. They cook all the burgers flat top. It's not Burger King. Hey. You got Sorry, no cheese on that one. It is. Oh, I thought it was an onion. I thought it was a, a long onion. Y'all yeah, ain't even finished that one. You just, you just jumping burgers. Mm-hmm. Burger jumping. Mm -hmm. You got an upside down burger I see over there. <laughs> With a little drip drip on the side of Mm-hmm. I see you now. Yeah. Make sure you try them. Win a winner chicken dinner. Yeah. Definitely, because you can do a little party, grab a couple of those. What yeah. Is, so, one box made All them. eight burgers, right? Yeah, so that's a little party size. That's eight sliders for one, so you can make that's eight. That's a dollar slide. Yeah, so you can... um. It's worth more than that, though. How yeah, much would y'all yeah. pay for this? Like, if you... Oh, by the time you cooked it and prepped it and yeah, all that. Yeah, and doing all that. I sell these for at least two fifty. Nigga, it must be crazy. This got to be two fifty. Two fifty. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Man, you What's the type of meat it is and all that on there? Go man, go on, go on get your little burger back, man. That's what Sir, you already bit the burger. Man, go get your little burger back, man. Not worth two fifty. Worth two fifty. Mm hmm for sure. The gourmet though. The Angus burger tastes I don't know, the prime burger just tastes more I don't wanna say expensive. It just tastes more clean, more like that beefy good taste. It doesn't taste like I taste a bunch of cartilage or all that other stuff when it, stuff. when it's a like a cheaper cut of meat. I taste more cleanness. Mm. Clean. That's why I like it more. So y'all, I take the bologna. Hush, <laughs> don't listen to him. Just try it yourself. You'll see what I'm saying. <laughs> so, y'all, before we started the video, I was scrolling on Facebook, and I, I found something. I read across something that Tamia posted. Uh oh. And um, even though this is not like a topic, topic it is, and it's something that's very real and that's going on right now today in America, mm. and it's the Black Lives Matter movement. That's in the world, girl. The world, so, not America. So yeah, going around the whole world. So you know, everyone likes to say, "Well, all lives matter." Uh oh, that is conversation <laughs> for a fight. Yeah, they love to say that, <laughs> but the, the thing is, why it's insensitive is, um, if all lives really did matter, then Black lives would too. Isn't right. black lives considered all lives? But it doesn't. That's why we're pinpointing it out. And, you know, people, it's not to, saying black lives matter is not to say that all lives don't matter. It's just saying that we matter too. Because yeah. we're the ones that are 
Get are targeted. Too. We're targeted. We're the ones that are uh, being served this injustice, not like everyone else. So if they all matter, ours should matter too. It's not to say that no other race faces things that they don't. It's not to say no other race ever got beat up by the police or nothing ever happened to any race but the black lives. It's not saying that. But when you're being pinpointed and targeted because of the color of your skin, you have to speak on that specific group. Just like when people say you don't come to a breast cancer walk and say lung cancer matters. You don't do that. You don't do <laughs> that's that. That's horrible. That, that's crazy. Yeah, we, we're not saying that lung cancer doesn't, but we're focusing on breast cancer at this moment and acknowledging people that are going through this particular thing at this moment and this and people being affected at this time that's that's the how silly it sounds when people say that they be so, feeling left out yeah it's it just it's like you're you're okay. trying to be so much included in something that you're not understanding what the point of the movement is about so i came across something that tamia posted and i just wanted to share with you all i don't know if you've seen this or not but i loved it and i wanted to share it with you guys so there was a post made um and it says if you are a Christian and can't hear Black Lives Matter without feeling the need to respond with criticism that all lives matter, then crack open your Bible and hit up Luke 15. Don't have it handy? Let me summarize it for you. There are a hundred sheep, but one goes missing. Jesus leaves the 99 and goes after the one. The 99 says, but what about us? Don't we matter? And Jesus said, of course you still matter, but you're not the one in danger. That one is. So if, if if you don't get that, you don't want to get that. Nope. So it that clearly shows what that means when people protest about black lives mattering. They want to be treated fairly and equally as everyone else. They want to not be targeted because my skin is brown. They want to be able to go out to the store and not get pulled over because you look suspicious or you look like you might be getting into trouble like we yeah. want to be able to live in america and then when you pull us over and it looks like we're reaching then you kill us like that's not okay no. that's 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 not okay no, the harassment is not okay and i read something saying that black men and boys are killed three times is it three times more oh, no, than no, white americans and you wonder why we, we're protesting or you're wondering why people are speaking against us. You wonder why people are feeling some type of way. So, I don't know. So, I feel like if you don't understand that, you just don't want to understand don't that. Don't want to understand You it. don't. But don't stop people. They've been selfish. Because they, they understand. Yeah, they just don't mm -hmm. want to understand mm -hmm. it. And don't be mad or try to stop people for speaking how they feel about how this is affecting them and their sons and their fathers and their yeah. dads and their uncles and their brothers. Like, don't get mad at them. Let them speak their truth and let them. We have a right to protest. That is our right to protest. It's our right to speak out. It's our right to sign petitions. It's our right to donate money to make sure or to even try to help this uh, come to a. a, what, a what, I was going to say to a minimum, but just to make it obsolete, really. Mm -hmm. Like, it's nothing wrong with that. And we have a right to do that. And we will continue to do that. So when you think about the All Lives Matter Make sure you remember that black lives is one of those lives that matter too. Awesome. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. So but I, I really, really that. felt that when I read that. I did. So yeah. That's it for the video. I know we've been on here for over 20 minutes. But I wanted to make sure that I shared that with somebody that needed to hear that. Maybe someone who wanted to be more open-minded about it. And didn't really quite understand what it was about. I wanted to share that with you guys. So that's it. Did you want to say anything else? What about Lee Life? Don't it matter? Hmm? Okay, guys. So, thank, <laughs> thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Tinley TV. Because it's the place to be, It is the place to be. Y'all, I did a quick insert. I wanted to say that if you do send me a message on Instagram and you want me to shout out your channel or you want us to talk about your channel um, in one of our videos, please make sure you leave the link to your channel. I think I said that before because I don't know how to find you sometimes and I don't know how to show support to you if I can't even find your channel. Just wanted to say that real quick. I want to say that. But yeah. Thanks for giving me silence with me, babe. Even though you was criticizing my... I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I come in, I get 110%. <laughs> you know, always put me in, coach. I run football. <laughs> and I don't know two plus two, mm -hmm. but I know how to run the ball. Oh, my God. All right, child. We love y'all. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.